Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update, what's going on at the garage. So, getting ready to go home, pulled the two trucks in, we're doing some work on them, basic maintenance kind of stuff. And um, I'm just standing there looking at them saying, I gotta get a video of this, because look at how beautiful these trucks are. The, the advanced design Chevys, GMCs, they were just such beautiful trucks. This... 1954 GMC 100, that 1949 Chevy 3600, and what a couple of gorgeous trucks. I, I just got to say, they are just so beautiful. I still like the earlier model advanced design with the split windshield over the later model with the full windshield. Um, this actually was the last year of that model. Then um, in 55, they went, they, they changed, they redesigned the whole body. And 1947 was the first year for the advanced design, um, which is what this body style is known as, the advanced design. This one we did a, a few years ago, we did a full nut and bolt restoration on. And uh, she is just a beautiful truck. And she was in just for basic stuff. Voltage regulator went bad, needed the valves all adjusted, oil changes, check everything over, adjust all the brakes, get the parking brake readjusted, stupid little stuff like that um, just needed to be done on her. And this one, she's having a little bit of a problem with the shifter on it, so we're going to do a floor shifter on this one. This one, we changed out the uh, straight six to a Chevy V8. And we also put a 700R4 in her and a new rear differential because these trucks had originally had a torque tube style drivetrain. Um, so from the transmission to the rear end, the uh, drive shaft was inside of a tube. So we had to change all that. So you end up having to change the rear end. We went to a 55 rear end for this truck which fits right in they, they use basically the same frame sizes so everything fit right in on it and then we used the 700 r4 four speed automatic we put disc brakes on the front and power steering in it and the woman who owns this truck loves her truck she drives this quite often she does a lot of shows parades she does benefits and she donates her time to a lot of great causes so this is a really cool truck and a really great person who owns it. The guy who owns this truck, he uh, he's just a great guy. You'll see him all the time. He brings in his scooter with the sidecar. He has the dog named um, Halo. And you can find him online in uh, on Facebook or on Instagram as a uh, this this rescue rides. And you can see him and his dog, they go on all kinds of adventures on the bike and all that. Really cool. I have some really great customers. So, there you go. I just wanted to show you the two trucks. I just think they just looked so beautiful sitting there together. It's just, I wish we can get styling back like these old things. It, it, the, the new cars are just so blah and boring and... Yeah, this was when vehicles had style. Alrighty, guys, have fun. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.